Okay, we're live again. It's, um, <laughs> we played at breakfast, now it's a little bit before dinner time. I thought, uh, I thought I'd come out and play some music. Um, that's how the day tends to go. Little bits and spurts of music. And I thought, let's, uh, let's play for people. So, what was I gonna play? I don't really have a song in mind, but uh, let's see where it goes. This is just improvised. I did a lesson, um, I think two weeks ago, which was major seven to major seven. This is a major seven to major seven. It's a G minor seven, right? To an F major seven. Do I know any Brazilian songs? I don't. Um, do I or no? I played in a forró band, which, um, which I think the lead singer was Brazilian, but I don't remember any of the songs. Kind of, if I don't know what to play, I'll do that major seven to major seven, and it sounds really nice. For the, my lesson a few weeks ago, I did. Um, so right now we did a major seven, a minor, a G minor seven, and we walk down one whole step, F major seven. In my lesson, I said to do a one to a four, so a G minor, let's say, or a G major. <laughs> to a D major. Plus five. Ooh, bare life. That sounds nice. Thank you. Uh, let me bring this down a bit. I just want to... Yeah, I, I guess I both want to play, but I want to explain what I'm doing. Um, because that's, that's music. Um, so it's a G major. To a D, right, right next to it, and we seven it, we major seven it. So instead of just playing G major to D major, which is kind of boring, this is what it sounds like normally: G major to D major. Yeah, normal. If we do a G major seven to a D major seven. And that's taking it around, different shapes. I think it sounds really nice. And I realized that that is the song uh, Gymnopédie, right? By Eric Satie. Um, G major 7, D major 7. Right? Um, yeah. Hello, all the West Coasters. Um, hey, California. Um, 
It's beautiful here and your music is chanting. Amazing, thank you. I just thought it's really nice. Dinner is going to be ready in about 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, I agree. It just adds some, some nice things to the evening. This is just some pre-dinner accordion music. Um, I'll try and play Ginopedia. I don't know all the chords, but maybe it's a bad idea. But let's, let's try it. Maybe not. Maybe I'll do another song. If you guys have requests, let me know or any questions. Otherwise, let's play a song. Let's do... I'll do a... I'll, this morning I did Fellini. I'll continue Fellini. Because we've played it. song. Uh, I'm just going to look at the chat. Uh, thank you to everyone that's tuning in before dinner or before whatever time it is where you are. Hello, everyone. Um, I don't know the flight of the angels. No. Switch windows. Um, I started learning accordion when I moved out of my parents' house, which was... probably almost 13 years now. Um, my first YouTube video was at my parents' house when I picked up the accordion, the first few weeks of playing. Um, yeah, just something to point out with this song that I was playing, there's a song, there's a chord change. Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da -da -da. 
It goes from C to the C sharp and from the C to the A flat. It's actually some big jumps. Uh, and I usually get, um, a f not a few emails a week, an email a week asking how to improve your left hand. And I missed that jump in that performance, I think four out of five times. I got it once in the end, which was important. Um, I was really concentrating, but every time I missed it by a little bit, right? Instead of da 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 da, I missed it. It was a, it was a bit shorter, a bit long. So bad, bad for me in terms of not getting it right, not enough practice. But the, I think the trick is the important thing is to realize you've made a mistake and to keep in tempo. So I think most people that listen to the performance see the performance as a whole. So even if I, mi I missed the correct jump, if I got it right, I'll continue. And if I got it wrong on the next bass hit, on the next bar, on the next beat, I come back to the correct note. So I think that's important in general in music. If you say you're gonna perform something and you know it, you, you, you go for it. And when you miss a chord, jump to it. I, I, I don't like listening to someone, you know, if I played and the person restarts or pauses, I think it's important to once, once you get that rhythm going, to keep at it. If you get it wrong or right. Obviously, it, it helps to get it right and it helps to practice. But yeah, that's my little spiel about performance. Keep at it. Don't pause. Um, as someone who enjoys listening to music, especially live performance, play. Play through the mistake. Um, we probably didn't realize it was a mistake, but yeah, if, if you're a person that pauses, try not pausing. Um, yes, I know Talianska. That's the one Balkan song that I know. Um, thank you for the suggestion. Let's play. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, Talianska. Um, beautiful song. When I make a mistake, I lose my place and tend to restart because of how I remember it. How to fix this? Yeah, I live by an airport. Yeah, I do. There's a. Uh, I'll answer those questions. I live by. I live on Vancouver Island, which has a lot of. Uh, anyways, Victoria Airport is thirty minutes, according. If a bird could fly over the water, but we have to get there in an hour. Um, yeah, when you make a mistake, it's how you remember it. Hey, Daniel Trotman, hello. Um, so when I make a mistake, I lose my place and I tend to restart because of how I remember it. Yeah, so it's tough. There are songs that I play that I only remember based on where I connected it to. Um... So I kind of have to go back to that place that I remember it. I'm assuming that's what you do as well. I don't know how to fix that. I guess what I was saying was when it's a mistake of physicality with a left hand. So Talianska, there's that part. Um, 
Sorry, uh, I'll give an example where I have the same issue as you. Shostakovich's second waltz, I know part A and part B, I know the chords. Um, so I know that it's in C minor and I, I understand myself around those chords. There's the second part, there's the th part C. The, um, and I can't play it because I don't know how to connect to it. I have to go back to part B in order to get there. Like I have to go to... <laughs> So if I make a mistake there, I do need to go back because I'm unfamiliar with what chord I'm at, um, especially in the turnaround, right? I, I'm lost. I probably need to pull up sheet music. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know what the answer there is. If I make a mistake there, I will play the wrong music. I did it at a wedding once. I thought I knew the song. And I didn't. <laughs> I played in the wrong key. And I played the song in the wrong key. Imagine I play... Everyone's expecting to hear that. And I started by playing like this. So I just played what sounded like the song. And it wasn't the right song, but I just kept with it until I managed to come back to a spot that I knew. Yeah, sorry, so, you know what, maybe ignore what I said before. There was some truth to it, but I'm not sure if it's correct. Sorry, MS711. Uh, That's, um, yeah, sorry. Let, let me, sorry, I, I, I can't answer your question correctly, how to fix it. I know obviously there are two different instruments. However, for a child beginner, would you recommend learning the accordion or l'organetto first? If learning l'organetto is the ultimate goal. I don't know what an organetto is. Um, what's an organetto, Jake? My, my recommendation for a child musician who wants to learn an instrument with a piano keyboard is to learn keyboard or piano. Even for an adult who wants to learn accordion, my suggestion is to learn to get a piano teacher. This hand is so important, what the right hand does. So just learning how to move. Right? To do that correctly is really important. So I would suggest learning piano if the organetto has an organ. Uh, and yeah, MS-711, go back to a waypoint. Uh, have you tried learning all the different kinds of jazzier chords that are possible with Stradella bass system? No, I haven't, Maxwell. Um, awesome, Daniel. So, and I don't know Besame Mucho. And no, David, I'm sorry, I can't do diatonic button accordion. So no, the, the jazzy chords, I haven't. There was an opportunity to do it for Libertango. Because Libertango... <laughs> Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And the walk down, right? A little bit. Right? Where it's like you're, you're starting to get into a little bit, but no. I guess the most basic ones are, let's say, a 2 5 1, right? Like an A minor to a B diminished. Like, or a bass note with a different um, no I, I haven't learned the jazzier chords I, I, my excuse I, I don't know what my excuse is exactly maybe it's the same with other people and that if I had a need to if I had a jazzy band I would learn it but the majority of songs that I do don't require don't require it on piano, I started to to uh, play around with it a little bit because it's a bit easier on piano to do those jazzier chords. I just haven't gone down that rabbit hole with, with the accordion. Have you done it, Maxwell? Um, if you have any good tutorials, l let me know. All the button squeeze boxes love for tarantelas, like a concertina. So Jake, uh, I, I don't know. I think the button accordion is very different than the piano accordion. Um, so I would 
if you want him to learn organetto, if it's button accordion rather than piano, learn learn the button accordion, I guess. Um, all of my musician friends have learned piano. Um, even, let's say, someone who plays the fiddle or the flute, they all have a foundation in piano. I think piano probably helps you with other instruments. Um, but yeah, as a kid, I would learn piano. It's just so easy to make a sound versus having to push and pull and coordinate. Learning piano is, is really a nice, a nice thing to do. Let's do... I, I don't know Bessame Mucho. I'm sorry. I'll play um do 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 I'll play a tango. to uh, change uh, <laughs> to change tempo to change rhythm mid song by new versus used uh, Harry there's a video on my channel my wife's giving me the 10 minutes um, there's a video on my channel just from last month I'm gonna say from August yeah uh, about buying new versus used if you can buy used great uh, if you could find a music store that sells refurbished used accordions, great. So my four or five accordions that I bought that you could see on this channel were all garage sale finds that I bought between $200 and $700. And they all worked, luckily. They all had a broken key or a broken some reeds, but they all worked. I think they're great learning instruments. Um, but I just gave this accordion, which was a garage sale find, to a repair person that fixes accordions, and this is my favorite accordion. Everything works. Um, the only new accordion I bought was my Black Weltmeister, which is used now. Anyways, it worked. I, I was playing a stage show, and I needed the accordion to work. It's kind of like buying a used car versus a new car. I, we have a new car now, and it's amazing because it works. So even in the winter or, you know... The battery works, the window works, the radio works. My new accordion had to work, so I bought a new accordion. Um, otherwise, this used one is awesome. If you could find a used one and you could tell that it works and there's no mold and all the things work, go for used. Um, if you can afford a new one, I would say go for a cool new one. I'm having a nice red wine. Can you play something to a company? Yes, I'm having a rosé here. I'll take a sip soon. Yeah, Daniel, please. 
uh, any one of you that wants to send me a video of your playing, oh, amazing. If you want feedback, great. If it's just to listen to, that would be awesome. Um, Rudy, how much does it weigh? This is a heavy accordion. This is like an old 120 button. I don't have a scale at home. I would say this is between 15 to 25 pounds. My white honer 48 bass button was my lightest accordion. You can go back in the videos. And my 72 bass Weltmeister is also light. I was, um, I was also playing a stage show and it was important to it was important for it to be light. I was wearing it for three hours every night. Uh, and it had to be loud, it had to work, and it had to be light. Um, Red Wine Song. Um, yeah. Let's play a song. Red Wine Song. Let's do a few. Let's do La Vie en Rose, because it's beautiful to drink wine to, or just to enjoy, and we'll do an Italian song. Yeah, let's do it. That's not a viola. Um, let's call it red wine music. Um, that was, um, what was that? Oh, Jackson Brody, hello! Thank you. I like your new TV theme song. That was so good. Um, that was... Da -de -de, uh, um. <laughs> uh, whoever knows that song, the Dr. Chivago theme song. Lara's theme to La Vian Rose. Um, awesome. Oh, your mother's favorite. Amazing. Thank you. This is my, um, this is the front of my house. Oh, it was so good. The Mad Men theme song. Psh. Um, yeah. Anyways, I have about four minutes before dinner. No, I wish I played. Yes, Summer My Love. Da, 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 da. Um, Zydeco. To continue on the TV theme theme songs, um, Jackson. I'm gonna play a few. Um, let, let's see if, um, if folks can guess them. Um, I don't usually do this, so I'll screw up a bit, but it should be fine. <laughs>
Which theme song was that? That was a oh, blanking. Who's the boss? Yeah. Accordion bread. Harry, anything that, that works. That was, no, not who's the boss. Sorry, that was the ALF theme song. Do, 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 do. That was the ALF theme song. Um, truthfully, I'm blanking on other theme songs to play. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's play one more song. By the way, every song that I'm playing um, has sheet music and video lessons on my website, accordionlove.com. Um, so yeah, check it out if you if you haven't already. Let's do one more song. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do a nice song. Let's do a Klezmer song. It's dinner time. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I don't have a favorite accordion song. They change from day to day. I really like um, Talianska but, and Viva Dry. They're all songs that I really like to play. And I was playing the Yiddish Mazurka earlier. Anyways, it's dinner time. I hope you, uh, everyone has a great night. Thank you for tuning in and for everyone that asked questions and said hello. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this will be on my website. So if you need a replay of anything... Um, yeah, it'll be on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a good night.